Problems on the 6th Street Bridge at Boyle Heights reach new heights as bridge climbers and street takeovers keep happening. City officials are scrambling to find solutions and fast. NBC4's Alex Rozier back in Boyle Heights this afternoon speaking with city leaders. So Alex, what are they saying today? Well, yeah, council member Kevin DeLeon, for one, says that a number of people have come up to him saying this is why we cannot have nice things. DeLeon tells me we can have nice things in Los Angeles, like the bridge behind me. But a few things have to change first. I lived in the neighborhood for 10 years. Danielle Darley lives in the Arts District, and here's the commotion on the new 6th Street Bridge every night. You just hear, like, tires screeching and uh, engines revving. As street takeovers continue, city leaders are scrambling to find solutions. These are conversations that are taking place. Nothing is etched in stone. Council member Kevin DeLeon said leaders are in talks about speed bumps, a center median, higher fencing to dissuade climbers, and possible closures on the weekend, leaving it only open for bike and pedestrian use. I'm not quite sure we can, you know, change behaviors as opposed to provide, you know, necessary sanctions of individuals that, hey, this bridge doesn't belong to you or me. This bridge belongs to the people of Los Angeles. This weekend, police made nearly 60 citations on the bridge and impounded six vehicles. We're taking enforcement action against them. I just ask that the, the court system take this as seriously as we are. In a briefing Tuesday, LAPD Chief Michael Moore said he's pushing for new cameras on the bridge. It's drawn as an attraction over the entire 24-hour uh, clock, and so we think that the uh, cameras and, and other types of uh, open surveillance there can help us identify when we have a problem emerging. It's LA's new and shiny object, and it's bringing out the best and worst kinds of behavior. I think it's just uh, maybe people getting overexcited. Danielle is just hoping for a few quieter nights ahead. I'm just hoping that it calms down and we can enjoy the bridge um, peacefully. And as you may know, they did shut down this bridge last night. They have several nights over the past week. I talked to LAPD about this, asked them their plans for closures moving forward. They said they're going to take it day to day, night to night. If problems happen here, they're going to shut it down. Live in the Arts District today, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.